Still running? Still runs? Yeah. Do you want to... We'll go for a drive in the other one? Yeah. Yeah. yeah this one's yeah. boring. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to our new vlog. Today we will talk about exotics wrap like a king cars. Bless you. Guys, meet Nick, the owner of Exotic Graphics, who will tell us a bit more about his unique cars. Thanks, Vitus. Um, yeah, we'll start with the first one, uh, okay. Toxic Rat. That's a 1931 Ford Tudor. Uh, the car came out of Indiana in America. Um, didn't look exactly like this. We did a fair bit of work to it. Um, so it was on the road for a little bit and then it, uh, we pulled it off the road because we were having quite a few issues with it. Then we had the opportunity with Rap Like a King um, to enter something cool and yeah, this, we decided to build this and finish the car off. So we actually did it in six weeks. It was a running car, but if you watch the video, you'll see how far we took it. It was a new chassis. We built the engine and everything. Uh, but Probably in terms the of, no, oh. the, yeah, the chop was already that done. Oh, is that okay. Yeah, so, but um, yeah, in those six weeks, we kind of, we built the car exactly like how I would want it if it was my own. So I always wanted that 60s, you know, custom paint theme. Um, so yeah, we used the Diamond Series, the Avery Diamond Series. We used the silver as the base. Um, we printed on the laminate and um, yeah, it came up quite effective. The artwork, there was, you know, hundreds of hours in templating and artwork. The, the job was quite, quite intense, so yeah. Because as you know, every single panel is laid in one piece and everything is printed in one piece. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, it's all one, there's no seam, so everything's printed in. There is one join, um, so we had to hide a join through this uh, gold, basically the spun gold here, so we couldn't do, this was the hardest part about oh, the car, geez. was this corner. So there's an actual butt join that runs through this whole line and this lower section, top section butts together and what covers it is that gold. So um, yeah, it was quite a unique way. It was the only way we could work out getting this top corner to have traditional 60s paint themes were all about pinstripes and masking and painting. So to keep those gaps all tight and accurate, that was the only way we could think of it. We are very, very fortunate that the car has that body line to follow. So, yeah. If I'm not going to know it's wrap, I'm never going to tell that it's wrap. It's, yeah, we've it's had, like yeah, it's, yeah, we've had great response, like especially when the first, like, wrap like a king was great, but then when we started taking the car around Australia, it got known pretty quick, um, and yeah, it got spoken about that it was a wrap, but yeah, a lot of people still don't believe it. 
I even still look at it like the cars. What was it, 2016? So it's four years old. It's holding up really well. Where do you use these cars at the moment? Because already it was built four years ago. You yep. still use them? You uh, them? Oh, you could see how hard it was to start. <laughs> oh, yeah. I haven't driven it for a while, so it's winter at the moment, so it's cold. So yeah, the cars don't get used too much, but in summer, yeah, we definitely get them out. We love, you know, we love the, the hot rod scene and the custom car culture. So take them to car shows, drive them around with the friends with their cars. So yeah, my uh, wife doesn't really like going in this one. So the kids are a bit too young, I won't put them in it yet, but once they get a bit older, I'd love to. Yeah, it's kind of low cars, very low. Yeah, it's low. good. It's, uh, <laughs> it's nice for me because I'm short, I can wash the roof. It's the only car I can wash the roof on. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, all the door jams are done inside. Oh, the yeah. dash is fully wrapped, um, yeah. Interior is everything custom, custom trim? Yeah, it's all custom trim, yep. We did actually do a bit of airbrushing on the back, so we had an ex-employee, really good airbrusher, Jake, and um, we wanted to kind of make it look like it was custom painted, but what we did, he airbrushed on a Luca panel uh, sign, and then we scanned it in and we printed it on the wrap, so that was quite unique. And it's got the, um, oh, it's hard to see, but yeah, it's got the blowtorch, the rat's holding the knife in its mouth, there's knifeless tape, the uh, squeegee, just, and yeah, some of the toxic, like, yeah, so not many people kind of see that too often. It's a little bit hard, but it's a nice subtle effect. Yeah, so it's got a soft spot, this car, definitely. Um, we, yeah, we had some, you know, we all, there's some funny stories about it. The car was printed three times. So, um, yeah, like, you know, we can go through the challenges, but when we templated the car, uh, if you look at this body line here, we templated the car with the doors off, so when we did these gaps, we did the gap there, and then when we put the doors on, that line was actually in, so it didn't run, so then we had to re -temp. Just, you know, mistakes when you don't, you kind of, you had the car pulled apart, and yeah, we there was things, struggles and challenges, but you learn from them. This car probably taught us the most about templating and the value of templates and um, how good the install can go when you invest that time at the start. Let's talk about Replica King competition. What was your experience like? Um, experience on 2016 was a fair bit different compared to 17. I don't think we'll ever top 16 like first before we even got through the team building exercise. And, and like the whole build and how excited everyone got was amazing. So we like, when we started um, the initial project, there was no like, we want to achieve this, we want to do this. It was just, let's build a cool car. And then um, when we got over there, oh man, it was nuts. Like the, I don't know, it was just, it felt like rap family, everyone was together. We went to the first Avery party and it was just, yeah, everyone was friends and it wasn't even about winning or losing. And then, yeah, getting on stage, they had Richard Rawlings, I'll never forget. So it was a huge crowd around. And yeah, it was just, I don't know, I was still, you know, when you have that big of a buzz, you actually, um, like, you forget the experience a little bit. You're just like, it's a mind blur. I just remember getting back to the hotel going, far out, we just won, like, that's crazy. And then 17 was a little bit different because we actually hunted okay. for it. It was like, all right, let's go to try win this again, again. yeah. So it was, you know, a big plan. Um, yeah, we wanted to kind of achieve the most we could as a company. Even if we lost, it wasn't, didn't really matter, but we wanted to know what our entry was, was as top and as hard as we could go as a company. And yeah, that's what we did with that, which pretty much leads me almost to why we didn't go to try three Pete. Yeah, why is it So I knew you were gonna ask that, so oh, yeah. I thought I'd lead into that. <laughs> but yeah, everyone asks why don't we go, why didn't we go th uh, three times over? It was purely um, what I don't think we felt. We brainstormed, we said let's okay. go again. So and can tell them, oh, maybe they run out ideas. Ideas, yeah, yeah, no, and that's like, and it's, it's valid. At the end of the day, it's, um, we didn't think we could enter a car that could beat the Beetle. Okay. And it wasn't, even if someone could top the Beetle, that's fine, even if they have. But we just looked at it and said, all right, we've layered vinyl, we've templated one of the hardest cars to template, we've landed lines, we've got creative, we threw huge budget, like, and um, it was like, shit, 
you know, how far do we go with this competition for ourselves? So yeah, we gave it a miss and then um, we were gonna probably go back the year after and then a few things changed. We got the Zun, so that's where the money went into that. So yeah, it's just the way that it kind of landed. But yeah, we're, we're really happy with the two cars. We don't feel like we needed to do three, but yeah, it would have been nice. And the as Beetle. The, yeah, as you know, it's like yeah. second year. Okay, yeah, so this was months. second year. Uh, another unique project, unique idea. Yeah, so this one was purely for Rap Like a King. So it was the car was brought for Rap Like a King. It was the style was for Rap Like a King. The whole lot was purely to try win it again. Okay. Um, when we started brainstorming, we one of our old employees had an idea about creating 3D wood. Um, and then from 3D wood went to how do we what do we do to theme the car with that? So, you know, back to traditional styling. I always loved the woodies growing up as kids, you know, the V-dubs and that. Um, we were gonna do a combi van, and then we thought, you know, it's a van, it's too straightforward. So we mocked the design up on a V-dub Beetle, being these guards, this bonnet, the roof line, so there's no, there's no joins under here. This is all one piece all the way there to the back. Um, oh, it's one piece all the way? Yeah, all the way, so. Yes, like everything's printed space, in again. Printed yeah, so the year before we got on the hot rod, these pinstripes, um, a few people thought we overlaid it. Okay. So we added these blends in the print so we knew that you can't actually, so if anyone saw it, you're like, you can't actually overlay blends. So that's why we added those fades, which was a nice soft effect. But yeah, this car was purely um, six weeks again, we built it. Six My weeks dad. Ago. Stability. Yeah, it was full. T there was crazy hours. We pretty much almost shut the shop down for like good three weeks of that. Wow. My dad was on it full time, but the car. I don't know if you've seen the video, but it was a dead stock beetle. Like one owner, really. I've still got the log books and everything. All the yeah, it's crazy. And then <laughs> full service log books. Yeah, it was like the car was a really good buy, and um, yeah, we ended up chopping it apart, dumping it, lowering it. So yeah, it was. Um, so wheels are wrapped. Full custom wrap, 3D wood, all that's wrapped. The roof, the visors. Um, yeah, visor. I, yeah. I, I was reading about it. You, this was kind of crazy idea. With some. Uh, yeah. So it was uh, a new machine. Um, I've gone blank, but I'll let you know if it comes to me. But what the machine? A Swiss Q. That's what it was. Okay. So it does these beads, these little dot beads. Mm -hmm. But if you line those beads up to the print underneath, it gives an illusion and it kind of gives you a 3D floating effect. So this looks like it's 40 mil thick, but it's really only three mil acrylic. Um, so we we did heaps of testing to try get that to stick to um, the Avery laminate. And yeah, we ended up working out a process that we could get it to adhere to it. Mm. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Then we did the surfboard that got wrapped. Oh yeah, it's like all, all yeah. this add-ons. So what, what's that? Yeah, um, so that's like air conditioner. You fill those up with water or ice. And yeah, you pull the rip cord in there and it wets it. And then yeah, the air comes in. So. Back in the 40s and that, they had them on the, the cars, so it actually, you're freezing it. You can't turn it off, that's the worst part, so, yeah. <laughs> inside the car, plus yeah. 10. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we continued the wrap all the way inside. Um, okay, I didn't notice. So, yeah, that's the boards, that's wrapped. So that was printed on silver. So that's how you get that kind of, uh, that, that deeper kind of marbly wood look. So we're playing with that. All the, this is all 3 d um, the dash is fully wrapped, steering wheel, Ste yeah, it's wrapped that's well. wrapped, yeah, you feel there's a joint at the back, okay. yeah, so we did a butt seam on the back of it, the steering column all underneath wrapped, actually the glove box, I'll open the glove box up as well, but that's all wrapped inside. That's impressive. And this car it got like, extreme, yeah. Okay. And this car is kind of three years old already, you built it three years ago? Yeah, so this was three years ago, it is, this one's getting wear and tear, this car like a lot of things are moving on it a bit. Um, it's still holding up pretty well though. Does this car have more rewards, like some uh, won some trade shows or? Um, shows? Yeah, so we won the ASGA, uh, best rap in Australia with this one. Um, it did a lot of, it actually went to the Victorian Hot Rod Show. It did really well there. Um, yeah, it's, it's made front cover a magazine as well, the v Same like uh, Hot Rod made yeah, Hot Rod made front cover. That was my first, like our exotics first cover ever. Okay. Um, yeah, that was a huge achievement because the 
magazine that that made it on was like purely all painted cars. Like it was the first wrapped car first in it. Car. Yeah, the heading on the cover was like, it's a wrap. So nice. yeah, it was pretty awesome. So I think people are starting to appreciate wraps a little bit more and knowing how far they can go. And they're, you know, they're getting close to paint. I know they're not paint, but they're still getting up there. How does a project like this start? Because as you know, it's not enough just to buy a stock car and wrap it, because you can't get stock like this. Right. Yeah, so yeah, that's back to like customization. That's what we grew up as kids. Um, me and my brother, even my cousins. My dad used to modify cars. He was always building cars. Um, so yeah, we get obviously a stock car and then we modify it to what we like. We've actually got a project on at the moment, or it's my dad's car that he's building, but we're helping a bit. It's been good, actually. It's the first car we've chopped the roof on ourselves. Okay. So um, yeah, if you want, I can show you. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, cool. All what I can see is only shell of the car. What's next now? If someone's gonna deliver a car like this to me, I was like, bro, it's just <laughs> Yeah, like... <laughs> so this is how we get the cars and then we wrap them straight away. Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> so, um, no, nah, but this is, so it came in stock. This is dad's car. It's a 31 Chev. And um, we recently just took four inches out of the roof. So we've chopped it. Um, and then we actually, instead of normally, you get a really small window, dad wanted a bit bigger so you could see. So we've chopped the window and added two inches down. So it's a bit bigger. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much how they start. He dad's airbag this one, um, but we're doing uh, all the new sheet metal floor. And then yeah, it's just it's building cars. It's not there's nothing to do with wrapping. This is just car building. We just enjoy it. We love it. Um, it's good in terms of I've used some of the techniques and the knowledge that I've learned as a wrapper to help you know these builds. So all this floor is actually templated. Um, okay. And then we cut it on the Zund out of cardboard and we test fit it. And then if it all works, then we cut it all out of metal. So we're kind of using a little bit more like new technology where dad back in the day would have tin snips or grinders to make all that. Now we're using a lot more machines, so we're doing them a lot faster. But yeah, they're a fun project. We don't know if we're going to do this one in wrap or paint. Dad wants it painted, so yeah, but we'll see. Yeah, he's old school, yeah. He's, he loves what we do with the cars, but yeah. He, um, I think he just black, painted black, painted black, so. As you know, your dad have a, another unique car. Black, um, not many of them in Australia, very long. Oh, the Cadillac, uh, so yeah, that's Cad my uncle's. So oh, yeah, that's the one you went in okay. in Rap Life. So yeah, that's a 60, um, yeah, Baritz. So that, yeah, that was cool, that car. So yeah, but dad's had Mustangs, Corvettes, um, yeah, all that growing up, so yeah. But no, it's cool. And actually, you're building engines from the scratch as well. Yeah, so we can have a look. Yeah, so dad, oh, you don't watch it. Yeah, so dad builds the engine. So built the engine in my hot rod. This one, um, my cousin actually built. So it's a little bit more horsepower. So yeah, but um, it's pretty wild. How many horsepower so, do you have engine like this? Uh, this one makes about 500. So yeah, but it's um, it'll be fun. Should be good. So my brother and my dad are the mechanical ones. Um, and they leave like the creative side up to me a bit, which is pretty cool. They're actually quite creative themselves. They've got a good eye for detail. Um, but yeah, so we're getting a custom made firewall made and all that. So yeah, looking forward to it. Will be, engine will be visible when it's done or it's going to um, It's going to be, yeah, optional. So he's definitely going to run a top cow. Okay. Um, and the sides will be on and off. So it's going to have full running boards as well, this car. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. So yeah, you'll have to keep an eye out for this one. This is how they start, uh, for us anyway, you know, and they don't need to go this far. You, some cars we buy, we just put wheels and lower them. But yeah, this is a full build. So as I know, it's when you wrap like interior and like engine bay, you need to take everything off. Yeah, so it's good we've got this little workshop that we can um, pull the cars fully down and do whatever we want. So yeah, there's no boundaries on trying to, yeah, we pulled the whole body off uh, the hot rod and wrapped it, then put it back on the chassis. Nice. That's it guys, thank you for watching. I know you will be jealous right now, but we're going for a ride. Let's go? Yeah, let's go.
So you know this this car is like wow. Yeah, it's just yeah. not much to say about it. <laughs> it is cool. <laughs>